Now, the seven best MailChimp alternatives. Now, MailChimp is still one of the most popular email list providers out there, but they've kind of lost their popularity a little bit, particularly with their recent changes, uh, specifically with regards to their pricing structure, which is what most people are upset about, primarily that you're gonna be charged for people who unsubscribe to your list, really. So if you have a list of like 2,000 people and you have like 400 people say that hit the unsubscribe button uh, to unsubscribe to the list, you're still paying basically the price for 2,000 contacts even though you t functionally only have 1,600 contacts. And that's just really unfair and people are really upset about that. And that's why a lot of people are looking for MailChimp alternatives. So what are my seven favorites? All right, let's get into it. So number one. Overall, the best one for me, in my opinion, is uh, Mailer Lite. Mailer Lite is just, I think they have the best price overall of any email list provider out there currently. So they have a good pricing. So their free plan is basically free up to 1,000 contacts, and then or it's $10 for 1,000 contacts. But if you pay $10 a month, you can email your list as many times as you want and stay in contact. You can send your list like two, three emails a week, whatever you want to do for $10. You can't beat that price. I think that's some. that's the best. And also MailerLite is just, I think, user-friendly, especially newbie-friendly too. If you ever, if you visit MailerLite, you're going to be very impressed by like the, just the feature-rich stuff that they have built into the website and how simple and easy it is to use to get set up quickly to start collecting emails and set up email automation on the back end so you can create like a nice email automations when people subscribe to your list and they get the welcome email and then they get follow-up emails, that sort of thing. Uh, MailerLite is just excellent for that. If you're just a blogger, and you have like a niche website and you're looking to just collect emails and email your list, MailerLite is fantastic. I highly recommend it. Now, number two would be Send in Blue. Uh, Send in Blue used to be kind of unknown, and now they've, I think they've really become a little bit more better known because more people are talking about them, particularly because their unique selling point is that they charge based on emails you send, which is so cool. I think that's so cool because that provides a nice um, solution to a lot for a lot of people. Like for example, one of their, their plans is, their light, their light plan is 40,000 emails a month. So technically you could have a list of 40,000 people and email that list once a month, which is unbelievable. And for their cheap plan for like 20 something dollars, they, they, pr they put their prices in euros. So I haven't done the conversion, but uh, it's very affordable, particularly if you're taking into consideration that you know, if you have like a monthly newsletter and you can send it to 30, 40,000 people for one low price, that's unbelievable. And that's the real selling point of Send in Blue. It's, it's ideal if you're just going to be doing casual emails, like maybe once a week, once every two weeks. Send in Blue is fantastic. Now, if you want something where you can send more emails on a weekly basis, two, three, four emails, uh, then you want to go with MailerLite. But if you're not going to be doing that, if you're just going to be collecting emails and you just want to send an email once every two weeks, a month, whatever, uh, check out Send in Blue. The only thing I don't like about Send in Blue is that they are a little clunky on the back end. You really have to like kind of sign up and log in to kind of experience it. But I personally found them just to, it's just not as intuitive and user friendly, but they have really nice support and any question that you have support will be right on top of it and will help you. Now, number three I have is a Weber and they are the internet marketing uh, OG, as I like to say, basically everybody and their grandmother like six years ago was recommending AWeber. Uh, AWeber is still like a classic alternative to MailChimp. The only thing I don't like about them is that they're a little bit pricey in my opinion for what they provide, but they do have a lot of helpful features for internet marketers primarily because that's kind of their target audience. They have A-B testing, they have list segmentation, and they have automatic blues blog newsletters that can go out. And so like what that is, like you can publish a blog post and it automatically gets sent to your email list. I mean, I personally don't like that because MailChimp, you can do that as well, but I personally like to create a custom email like, hey guys, like I have a new video coming out. Hey guys, I have a new blog post coming out, whatever. That's the sort of way I like to do it, not just have this automated email, but with AWeber, you can do it. Uh, so AWeber is another good choice because they have a lot of built-in features and analytics to help you with your email marketing. Now, after that, I have Drip, and Drip is fantastic for e-commerce stores. I mean, if you have an e-commerce store that's actually getting sales and traffic, and you wanna like just grow that, use Drip. They're fantastic for e-commerce, because they have, the, the main thing is that you can personalize your email data based on like uh, customer product, customer journeys through their products. So it's like you can have relevant product recommendations, coupon codes, and like when a price drop happens, whatever, and it can be personalized to your customers on your list. So it's instead of just this broad thing that you send out to everybody, you can customize it to different like uh, 
email contacts based on how they've been interacting with your emails in your store, which is what the really helpful feature of Drip is and which is why they're ideal for e-commerce more so than just like a blogger. Uh, next, we have Get Response, and Get Response is just classic uh, small business uh, email marketing software, and it comes with everything that you would expect, like email automations, landing pages, custom templates, custom email design, etc. And next is Constant Contact, and again, Constant Contact is like Get Response. Those two are kind of brother and sister companies. They provide all the same features. Uh, you know, basically email automation, email automation, automation, I can't pronounce that word, <laughs> forms, uh, analytics, all the stuff that you need. But uh, Constant Contact is really ideal for small, like not small business, but more so like nonprofits because they do have a, a coupon code, not coupon code, but like they provide discounts for nonprofits. So like if you're running a nonprofit, definitely take a look at using uh, Constant Contact. And then the last on this list is ConvertKit. And ConvertKit is obviously ideal for pro bloggers. Now, the, the downside that some people would say is like they're a little bit expensive, but they are really ideal if you have an information-based business. If you have a blog, YouTube channel, and various products and services that you're selling, ConvertKit is designed for you because they just come with built-in tagging features where you can tag the way people are, have interacted with your emails. So when people have bought you can tag people into like a special, uh, specific group. So it has that really helpful like list segmentation that, uh, that you need when you're emailing and marketing your products and services. So you don't keep like marketing the same product over and over to people who've already bought. So anyways, what are my picks primarily? If you have a blog, I definitely recommend that you check out MailerLite as my number one or ConvertKit as number two. Uh, ConvertKit is more ideal if you have products and services that you want to sell or you're currently creating products and services. If that's not you, if you just want to have like, hey, I want to email, email my list twice a week, just go with MailerLite. And then Drip, obviously, for small businesses. All right, so with that out of the way, let's jump into my laptop and take a deep dive into the pricing structures for each one of these MailChimp alternatives. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So guys, if you're enjoying the video, I really appreciate it. If you hit that like button, it's a small, small thing to do, but it really helps small time content creators uh, get a little bit more exposure because it signals to YouTube that people like this stuff and YouTube, you should rank the video a little bit better instead of burying it on like page two or three. Anyways, let's get to it. So pricing for Miller Lite, which is my number one recommendation as an alternative to MailChimp. So, this is amazing. One to 1,000 subscribers, 12,000 emails a month. That's fantastic because you can send multiple emails per week absolutely free. Or you can have unlimited for just $10. Even that, that's $120 a year. And you can have a list of like 600, 700, 800 people. And you can send that list three emails a week, two emails a week, whatever. I think that is just outstanding. Uh, if you're just if you're a blogger and you're looking for just a nice inexpensive email list uh, built management system, I cannot recommend MailerLite uh, any more highly than I've already done. So if you're looking for my number one recommendation, it's MailerLite. Number two is SendInBlue.com. So the pricing structure for SendInBlue is probably the most creative out of all the Mailchimp alternatives. So they have the free plan, which is completely free. Sign up and you get. 300 emails a day unlimited contacts so i mean you could technically have a list size of like 10,000 people you can have unlimited contacts but you're only able to send 300 emails a day to that uh, list whereas their light plan is way better look at that 25 dollars a month uh, 40,000 emails a month i can't get over that i can't believe that for 25 dollars a month you could have a list size of 20,000 people 10,000 people you could have a list size of 10,000 people and send that list one email a month or one email a week. So that would that would reach your 40,000 emails a month limit. How can you beat that? That is fantastic. Now, Send in Blue, this is what this is the advantage of Send in Blue over something like Mail or Light. Like Mail or Light is definitely more for like bloggers who want to market a little bit more, create videos, blog posts, updates on products, that sort of thing. You want to send like three emails a week, whatever, two emails a week. But if you're just like Hey, I want a weekly newsletter. You can have 10,000 people with the, with Send in Blue for $25 and send that list 
an email every week up to 10,000 emails or just have a monthly newsletter and send it to 40,000 people. That's unbelievable. There's no other provider out there where you could have a list size of like 30,000 people and send a monthly newsletter to. Uh, you won't find it. So Send in Blue is excellent as an alternative for MailChimp just because of this unique pricing structure that they implement. Number three is Aweber.com. Aweber is my third choice as a MailChimp alternative. So let's jump into the pricing really quick. Now, Aweber gives you a month for free upon signing up and then you pay $19 a month up to 500 subscribers. This is why I said in the introduction that they're a little bit pricey because most providers are now providing like zero to a thousand, whatever kind of free. You get that for free a little bit with other providers, but uh, with Aweber, it's $19 a month up to 500 subscribers. Uh, 500 to 2,500 will cost set you back $30 a month. But Aweber is absolutely a feature rich platform for internet marketers because they come in with analytics and segmentation automation. Those are things that are really important, particularly if you're trying to do like affiliate marketing and sending out multiple emails for different products. Say, say like you're promoting stuff from like JVZoo or ClickBank and you wanna have just a way to like, uh, you know, know how your performance is, know how your open rate is, all that helpful resources that you kind of need for your marketing campaign. Aweber is perfect for that. Now, again, like I always say, like that's why I recommend MailerLite because most of you watching this just have a website. You just wanna send out an email once or twice a week. But you know, if you're a marketer and you have like a lot more needs than just like something simple like uh, MailerLite, then check out Aweber. Number four is drip.com. Drip.com is an email marketing provider where their unique selling point is that they gear their services more towards e-commerce stores than just like bloggers, content owners, YouTubers. You know, like if that's you, then Drip is not for you. But if you have a Shopify store, Drip is fantastic if you want to get started with email marketing. Primarily, as I said in the introduction, because they provide a lot of different features that are ideal for e-commerce, basically allowing you to personalize your emails based on your customer's journey through the sales process, things that they add to cart, uh, promos, coupon codes, uh, product recommendations. You can personalize all this stuff within Drip which makes it really helpful in converting customers who subscribe to your email list into sales. Now, Drip is not cheap. They're more one of the more expensive plans, but again, they have a lot of feature-rich stuff designed for e-commerce stores to convert subscribers into sales. So that's number four, drip.com. Number five on the list is getresponse.com. They are a classic email marketing provider, providing you the ability to email your list, automation features, landing pages, and they have a new feature called the auto funnel, which helps you build uh, campaign ready emails. Now, let's take a quick look at their pricing structure. And in my opinion, they are quite competitive with their prices. So you can choose your list size right from the top there. So most people are gonna start out zero, but it goes up to a thousand. So basically this is what we can kind of expect to pay for a thousand. Now they don't have a free plan. Uh, but their prices are similar to MailerLite, particularly if you're willing to pay upfront, which I normally recommend doing. So you can pay for 24 months upfront and it's $10. Now, as I always do, like I never pay for anything upfront that far in advance. Uh, I usually like, whether it's a domain name, web hosting, I always like to pay year to year and then set it and forget it and then come back, revisit after a year to see, like make another purchase decision. But even still at 12 months, if you have a thousand subscribers or less, it's $12 and 30 cents a month, which is, very competitive compared to other service providers like say Aweber, for example. Uh, so this is get response number five as a alternative to MailChimp. Number six on the list is constantcontact.com. Uh, they're again, they're like Aweber, they're lower on the list for me personally, just because I'm thinking about like, look, if I'm a blogger, a content website, like on dirt bikes or some sort of niche specific site, like gardening tools or backyard, uh, equipment, backyard toys, something like that. And I just want to have an email list to send to people. I find constant contact to be a little bit expensive. And I'm personally like they have their email plus is $45 a month. And at this point is where you get automated email welcome series, automated e email behavioral series and subject line AB testing. Like this is like the really helpful stuff that you want, but $45 a month, that's a little bit expensive, particularly when you can get uh, something like get response or mail or white and you can pay something like $10 a month, $15 a month and get the kind of same analytics and features uh, that you're getting for this $45. So 
Uh, let's just jump in. Now it says prices based on number of contacts. So that means like how many emails. So you're paying per emails like most list providers do except for Send in Blue, which is unique. So constant contact is zero to 500, which is $20 a month, or you can pay in advance and save up the uh, amount, per, uh, depending if you want to pay in advance. Uh, regardless, I do find them just a little bit more on the expensive side, but they do provide nice discounts to nonprofits. So if you're a nonprofit, for example, I definitely recommend checking out constant contact as your email list provider. And saving the best for last, number seven, ConvertKit. Uh, one of the best alternatives to MailChimp if you're a blogger who has information products that you want to sell. Now let's take a quick look at the pricing plans. Now in my opinion, ConvertKit is on the more pricier side, but they provide a lot of helpful features, particularly again, like if you have a teachable course, Udemy courses, uh, eBooks, whatever that you want to sell, man, this is just one, this is such a helpful tool because the main thing that I really like is the subscriber tagging. That's one of the best things that they provide because you can really help easily and visually segment your list into people who've like bought specific products. So you can just, hey, people who bought this, stop sending them emails about this thing. You know, that sort of thing is really helpful as well as the visual autom automations. <laughs> I don't know, I can't say automations. Uh, visual automations. What that is, is basically as you're creating like an email series and funnels, like you can go through it yourself to see like how the end user is kind of experiencing it. And I can't tell you how useful that is because like when I was with Aweber, for example, years ago, it was rather annoying trying to figure out like how are the emails gonna look to the people I sent them? Like how is the font gonna look? Is the logo in the right spot? Like all that little stuff because then it's like you have to keep sending it to yourself and then checking it and it's just, annoying whereas this is really helpful where in real time as you're building it you can just visually check it out and see how everything looks and the last they have industry leading deliverability now this is something that a lot of people don't talk about deliverability is important obviously when you send emails you want to reach the inbox you don't want to reach like if you're in gmail say your promotions tab or something like that or the social tab you want it in the inbox and convertkit has one of the best deliverability ratings now deliverability is like dependent upon also your e your website as well like your website has like a a rating as well so a trustworthiness associated with it so it's not just up to the email list provider but it does the email list provider is critical in that sort of aspect but anyways i'm starting to ramble that is the last number seven on the list convert kit so that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button consider subscribing and i'll see you next video thank you very much for watching and have a great day bye bye